Welcome to Hillbilly DVD Reviews. I'm the GOAT. I'm Phil D's Nuts. And we're here to review today the DVD of... Boiler Room. And this movie stars Giovanna Rabussi, uh, Vin Diesel, and Nia Long, and uh, Nikki Cat. And it's got a real little awesome fucking performance of uh, Ben Affleck yeah. going an impersonation yeah. of uh, Alec Baldwin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Listen, man, a lot of people forgot about this movie, but you know, I tell you what, I saw this movie... I was just blown away. It is awesome. Pe- it's pe- gritty. Pe- people got confused because Bullet Room came out at the same time Pitch Black came Damn. out. They were inundated right. with all this Vin Diesel before he was even a goddamn star. See, the thing they about... They didn't know what to do with it. Exactly. Look at him. Look at him, man. He's got hair, first of all. Okay. Dead giveaway. Okay. First of all, Vin Diesel got some goddamn hair. He's you ain't, got hair. You ain't used to seeing Vin Diesel right. like that. So, so yeah. basically, this is a, a, a social commentary. Right. Yeah, it kind of is. It's a, It, it kind of predates itself because this is before the whole economic... Crisis and bullshit. But for all the motherfuckers robbing us blind on Wall Street, Boiler Room was saying, hey, motherfuckers, it's coming, and all you whatevers out there, you fucking Democrats, you didn't want to believe it. Right, man. Basically, the story is Giovanni Ribisi plays Seth. He runs like a little casino out of his bullshit New York, Brooklyn apartment. Yeah. And he's got this dad, Ron Rifkin, who's like this big fucking bullshit lawyer. He's a judge. And he's a judge. Yeah, and he yeah. wants to impress him, but he just can't because he knows his son's running a scam and shit. He's got daddy so, issues. He goes to work at this fucking um, uh, you know, stock firm that sells stocks, yeah. and the motherfucker running it is the guy from American Werewolf in Paris. That's right, Tom yeah. Everett Scott, uh-huh. aka Fake Tom Hanks Jr. Uh, which is funny because he tried to be fake Tom Hanks and Jr. and then fucking the real Tom Hanks Jr. Colin Hanks came out, and nobody even cared about the real fake. No one cares Tom about Hanks Colin Jr. Hanks. No one even nobody knows who fuck. So they really don't care about this third rate motherfucker. No, they do not. No, no, no. Ben Affleck's like in one goddamn scene in this movie. He must have like had a break from fucking. Making Chase and Amy or yeah, fucking, and, uh, fucking uh, Good Will uh, Spunton. But uh, I, you know, I tell you what, every scene he's in, this motherfucker steals the show. Yeah. He's amazing. And he ain't even trying to be Alec Baldwin. In fact, they kind of break the fourth wall because he even says, Hey, remember that scene Alec Baldwin did? And I'm fucking- ripping that shit off. That, yeah. That's how, that, that's how mind blowing this goddamn shit is. Is, <laughs> is they rip off a movie and they tell you motherfuckers to your face. We're ripping, ripping it off. Who did this? One person. One person. Ben directed. Younger. He wrote it and he directed it. And uh, this is pretty much his only big Hollywood movie. He did some other shit afterwards, but this was his big breakthrough. And uh, my, the guy nailed it, but for whatever reason, dumb motherfuckers that wanted to go see fucking, you know, whatever was out, Scream 8 or Shrek whatever the fuck was 45, out back in, but you know, whatever was out in uh, 1998 when this movie came out. That's right, man. Basically, these motherfuckers, they sit down, they watch the movie Wall Street, and they say, let's be Gordon Gecko, but let's sell fake stocks. Yeah. Motherfuckers yeah. selling fake stocks. Robbing your money, robbing your 401k. It's what the FCC calls a mother, not the FCC, SEC. SEC. SEC, they call a chop shop. And that's what these motherfuckers do. They sell fake sock and they pretend like, oh, this is great companies coming out, whatever. Listen, I know this review has a lot of setup, but this is a fucking smart man's no, movie. Man. I mean, this ain't bullshit. This ain't fucking Buford T. Puster. This ain't fucking Billy Jack. Yeah. So basically, Seth, he does it. He becomes a big, good employee at gold fucking, what is it, uh, J.T. Marlin? No, no, yeah, J.T. J- 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 Marlin. Marlin. They're, They're a bunch of fucking shit. crooks. Asshole. So he makes it big as a crook. His fucking daddy, who's a judge, knows that this fucking place is about to get busted. He tells his son to get out, whatever. So he gets out, but he tries to save the one client that he fucking swindled out of his life. saying some That's fucking right. pussy That's named right. Terry on the phone. got a conscience, some man. Some motherfucker with a family. Yeah, so yeah. he feels bad. He tries to make it right. And then that's the thrilling conclusion. We won't tell you what happens, but it's going to fucking blow your mind. And you it's going to fuck you movie. up mentally. So now, this here's a DVD. It ain't, it ain't the Blu-ray version. It ain't they, Blu-ray. They don't have this on Blu-ray, do they? Uh, not yet. New Line has not released this. But what do you give it as a movie? 10 I, out of 10. I, I give this fucking shit a 9 out of 10. Dude, it's I really like, good. I would have it's a little agree. corny at the end with the guy Terry on the phone, but it's still good. It's yeah, fucking awesome. Yeah, no, you know what? I, I give you that. I mean, I love to say 10 out of 10, but that's reserved for the cream of the crop. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. So to be fair, I'm going to be fair. I give it a 9. I agree with my friend. Nine out go ten. here. P- picture and sound, like we said, this is a fucking DVD. But the good thing is, it ain't got the quality of a Blu-ray. But you can still get it at Walmart for like two ninety nine. Probably, I think so. Now, now because we don't have a Blu-ray to compare it to, we have to kind of give yeah, it a little higher score. Yeah, we have to guesstimate, you yeah. know. So it kind of a little washed out, kind of a little blurry, whatever. 
But it, it looks okay. You you know, it's a dialogue movie too. Fuckers talking. Yeah, man. I mean, you, you, don't, not, you don't need to see let's one not go explosions. Crazy. The sounds okay, but it's just a dialogue movie. I give it on on picture and sound. I give it a six out of ten. Yeah, I give it a six. I think that's about right. I give it's it to solid, go. but it ain't gonna blow your fucking mind. Oh. Special features got a load of special features. Yeah, man. It's got uh, you know, well they list this bullshit like uh, widescreen version of the film five point yeah, yeah, That's yeah, standard. Yeah, that ain't yeah, special yeah, feature. No, no, no. But it does have. It does have deleted scenes, alternate ending, commentary by director Ben Younger, Gene Vernon or BC, uh, a 5.1 isolated score with the composer, yeah. uh, commentary by the Angel, uh, trailer, cast and crew filmographies. Listen, a lot. some of the special features are bullshit, some are really good, but, you know, it's an interesting movie, so I'm, you know, it's got some DVD ROM features like script to screen, take it where you have to connect to the internet. Right, right, right. But that's really like laptop bullshit yeah, from 1999. I mean, that's not really yeah. relevant anymore. I no, don't think no, they no. have that shit still I, online. I don't even that's not check. Yeah. But the other shit, the commentary shit, I'll give this shit on special features. I'll. I'll give it a six out of ten. No shit, man. I'll fucking well, give that shit a seven. Six, yo. six, I'll give it seven, 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 seven out yeah, ten. All right. I, you know, I like the director commentary. Man. Anytime a director is bold enough to talk about this shit, hey, yeah. he, motherfucker, he tells you how it is. Bo- bonus note: a lot of cool hip hop in this movie. A lot of yeah, yeah, a lot big of old small, New York, a lot of East Coast. When they jump you know? on the bus, bang the yeah. hookers. They got a lot of East Coast. So. You know the hillbilly is all about the hip hop. Fuck yeah, I love hip hop from the nineties. Because the ladies like hip hop now sucks. Chris Brown, he needs to fucking dye his hair fucking orange and jump out a window. He needs to cut his fucking hands off. The biggest small was that motherfucker. He he's good, man. That's so buy it, especially because the fact that probably the most you're gonna pay for this if you can even find it anywhere because it's such an old movie. This is one of the original five dollar Walmart bargain bin movies. That's- I, I'll tell you what. I'll sell it to you if your sister calls me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No. Uh, God damn. I, yeah. know, I know the tricks you run, motherfucker. Boiler room. Fucking get that shit. I mean, yeah. it's, it's going to cost you three bucks and it's going to be a good movie. It's worth and when it. all your dumb fucking cousins come over, you can say, motherfucker, I have boiler room. And it's I'm fun. smart. What do you want? I'm smart. You don't know shit about it. Yeah, fuck Transformers. Yeah. Watch boiler room, motherfuckers. I'm the goat. I'm Phil D's nuts. And we're here to tell you to fucking keep your gutter pipes clean because that shit will build up and fucking leak into your roof, goddammit.